Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. And this one is going to be titled Sell the Weird. Does anybody know who says Sell the Weird? Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, let's get started here. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and we are going to talk about big money bolos sold by, did you guess? Did you guess right? Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She is a big money bolo finder. This is her YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, definitely go and sub her up. She has all kinds of amazing reseller content where she teaches you about items to look for. And she is a big money bolo finder. But one thing that I really think is cool about Noelle is she sells really weird stuff, things that you walk past. So we're going to get started here. And the first one, well, actually, here's her store. It says Farm Girl Scavenger Unique and Ordinary Life Items. And this is a Union Pacific Railroad 30-year service lapel pin, 110th 10-karat gold filled, three sapphires, scarce. So what she says about this is she paid a dollar for it at an estate sale, priced high due to her research, sold in 19 days for full asking price of $99.99. They were all in for $110.23, and they left positive feedback. Excellent in every way. Railroad. The three stones were sapphire, one stone for every 10 years of service. She said she could only find reference to one having sapphires as the stones in some obscure vlog that came up. Don't pass up the little pins. And this is what it looks like. So it's got the three little sapphire stones. Here is the back. So definitely always look at the back of the pins. Santa Reindeer Christmas Skating Snowman Magnet Musical Box, 1950s Japan. This is absolutely incredible. You can see she put a video here. I recommend anything that works, especially old things that work. Put a video. You are going to get such a better price for your item, or it may sell quicker. If you can show that it works and the condition, definitely put a video um, eBay has added this video feature right up here. It is the second spot after the first photo, and you can add that from your computer. I don't think they've added it to the app yet. Hopefully they will in the future. So she said, another case of other people walking on by, even had a friend and fellow picker with me at this sale, and they commented that they had looked at it but couldn't get it to work. I paid a dollar, couldn't find anything like it to comp, made up a title, cleaned it up, and got it to work. Even put a video in the listing. Second photo. Sold for $79.99 on a 20% off sale. They were all in for $95.18, and they left great feedback. The item was exactly what I wanted and in perfect shape. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. And overall, condition is pretty good for being as old as it is. I wanted to see if there was a maker's mark. Yeah. Yeah, Noelle's always going to have great uh, pictures. Looks like it was sold in Lo at Lord & Taylor, New York, for $22. That's a lot of money for, you know, the age that's on it. Back then, $22. Bucks? Woo! That's pricey. All right, here we go. Look at these patterns. American Weekly Mail Order... Mail order sewing patterns, lot of three, women's size 14, vintage 1950s era. She said, sold for $55.99 on a 20% off sale. They were all in for $62.98. She listed $4.18 and sold them in seven days. So they sold on $4.25. So a quick flip right there. So mail order. So probably harder to find. Lot of five vintage 1982 Dairy Goat Journal magazines, five per lot. And it says February, April, May, June, and August. Paid $5 for a huge box of these a couple years ago. Finally got them listed. I took a best offer of $59 for these. They were all in for $71.57. 
Honestly, I have no words for this. I'm a dairy farmer's daughter and some things you just know to buy. So uh, yeah, sell the weird. That's why she says sell the weird. She picks up things that you walk past. Look at these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. So, so cute. And we'll check out her keywords on these because I'm sure she has good ones. And I want to show you guys the bottom, the marking here. It says antique Staffordshire Chelsea salted sheep lamb raised leg grassy bow cage. What's a bow cage? Bo bow cage? Am I saying that right? Pear. And antique, uh, let's see what she wrote. I paid six for the pair on the last day of an estate sale, 50% off. Clear a whole table of this type of stuff and was feeling pretty lucky because I had just made the offer for the whole eight foot table and paid when another picker came in and tried to buy them. He was waiting for half off day, but I got there before he did and I had taken photos the day before and went home and researched them. I took a best offer of $247.55 and they went to Australia for $305.31. That is awesome. Now, this one is super cool. Another one that would be sell the weird. Baxter Lane Co. Uh, company, Mexico Vintage Travel Luggage Water Decal Sticker. Check this out. And she's sold, I think three of these were in her solds from the last 90 days. It says... Um, Maybe have a penny into this. I purchased a whole stack of these at an estate sale a few months ago. This sold for $15.99 on a 20% off sale. They were $20.98 all in. Pretty good return for my investment. Even better, this sale has been being held for four weekends in a row. And this was the last day of the last weekend. So it was from a sale, a four weekend sale. <laughs> That's crazy. So they got passed by for four weeks. All right, what is this? Here we go. You ready? Vintage new old stock opal milk glass jar pot, 1.5 by 1 with metal screw top lid, lot of nine. I paid $2 for 57 of these at an estate sale. I have another listing for multiple quantity for a lot of 12. These sold on a 20% off sale for $37.59 and they were all in for $48.56. These are super tiny, amazing sale. By the way, there were hundreds of people at the sale. Nobody had the time to look in the boxes under tables, much less open the bags. It pays to be efficient. It pays really well. So what she's saying is to look under the tables, look in boxes, things that people aren't where that people aren't looking. Would you have picked these up? Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Would you have picked these up or walked right past them? Let me know down in the comments. All right. Oh, right. Yes. What does this say? Um, do to do, do. I don't know how to say this word. Tharmatrope? Tharmatrope? Thama, tha, <laughs> tha umatrop. Tha umatrop? Box set. I don't know. We'll see if she tells me in her notes. I'm guessing she might or she might not she might not even know how to say it i don't even know what these are i box set let's see is that another language interesting still confused let's see what she wrote okay i was surprised by these had no idea but they look cool so i put them in a in my bag and it was 50 percent off estate sale so i paid 10 cents for these yep i sure did I took a best offer of 150 and they were all in for 168.28. Here is what they are. Pre-cinema optical device. The term was coined as a, oh my goodness, transliteration, transliteration. I don't know what that means. From the Greek words, wonder and turn. Cards with different pictures on the front and back sides are turned rapidly, rapidly to create the illusion of one persistent image. There you go. That's what they are. I still don't <laughs> know how to say any of it, but very, very cool bolo. 150 bucks on those and 10 cents is what she paid for it. Sell the weird. You guys are going to be saying that after the video. You're all going to put it in the comments, right? Everybody go down to the comments and write sell the weird. And then you'll remember. 
Sanrio cartoon characters, neon doodle, Hello Kitty cotton woven fabric. I love the word doodle. I don't know if that's what this is called or if that's what she made up, but it's a cool word. Hello Kitty, anyone? This was just a touch over half a yard of fabric. One yard is 36 inches, so half a yard is 18 inches. And this was 22 inches long by 44 wide. I took a best offer of 50. They were all in for 59.72. Got it at an estate sale during when we were all locked down that time frame. Are we allowed to say that word yet on YouTube? I don't even know. Was going to make masks out of it, but never did. There you go. Hello Kitty is always look up Hello Kitty. Vintage Tupperware, one of Noelle's favorite things to give me a hard time about because I always pass it by. And Noelle had a whatnot show the other night and I said, I will come to your show, but I am not buying any Tupperware. I don't need any Tupperware. Guess what I bought? I bought some little strainers, you know, and I'm, I strained some blueberries tonight, and, you know, washed them up and it was awesome. It has this little pour spout. I love it. I love it. I love blueberries. But anyway, you guys are like, quit talking about blueberries. I think that's my favorite fruit. Okay. So if I ever ask, what is my favorite fruit? You all know now. Vintage Tupperware Carousel Caddy, 16 ounce tumblers and seals. I'm honestly surprised this did not sell for more money because this is rad. Uh, um, let's see. And it looks like it has the spoons. Wouldn't be right if I didn't include Tupperware. I took a best offer of 35 for this. They were all in for 30 or I'm sorry, 5367 paid about a dollar for this. She said, I love me some vintage Tupperware. Yeah, she loves selling vintage Tupperware. These are awesome. I love how cool the setup is. Yeah, I would think that would have went for a lot more just by looking at it. Okay, here we go. Sell the weird. I'm telling you, lot of vintage freezer boxes, hefty cordite mobile mobile chemical company laughing all the way to the bank with this one i mean really free to me 23.99 on 20 for 20 off sale all in for 47.92 maybe not huge money but just weird enough for me to sell if you know you know there you go would you have picked it up or left it behind a uh, beach ball you guys have heard me talk about these before they are definitely a bolo um, if you can find the really big ones, uh, is it 42 or 48 inches? I'm not sure. But those, wow, they go for sometimes over $100. Just depends on what you find there. Uh, inflatable beach ball. This one's only 24 inches. It's from 1994. It's dead stock. This was sent to me by a friend who found it in the trash. Dumpster diving, anyone? Sold for a best offer of $53.19 plus shipping. Listed March 12th and sold May 1st. Vintage Swiss made round dollhouse furniture carpet rug do doily Santa Enterprises. It is, let's see, she said paid nothing at this point and a huge bulk purchase and it sold for $31.99, 20% off sale, all in for $39.90. That is really cool. So this goes in a dollhouse. Pretty sweet, right? 1973 Stephen Man MFG Co. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just, we'll just stop there. Quit putting Co for company. It's messing me all up. It's messing me all up. Uh, plastic toys, to tow truck, dune buggy, fire truck, and Volkswagen set. Let's see. This was a shocker and a full price sale. I almost threw these away. Sold for $49.99. They were $59.60 all in. They were in a box of stuff. No idea where they came from. Look at these little plastic, cheap looking cars. Yeah. You, you find these old toys and someone is looking for it, especially because they're plastic and a lot of them probably broke. And there's collectors out there for everything. Anything old, look it up. Oh, I love this. Norcrest Japan Ceramic Mermaid Iridescent Fish Wall Plaque Figurine. One thing you're going to find from Noelle is she has really great keywords. If you go to her eBay store, which I will link down below, you guys can check out some of her titles and stuff like that. That's going to help you learn. Also her YouTube channel, of course. Let's see. Paid $10 for this and another set that is listed at an estate sale. I took a best offer of $170 for this and $194.44 all in. Buyer feedback left. 
That is what she left. LOL. This thing is tiny. Six by six and a half. Oh, she just put a smiley face emoji? Well, hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. 1975 Margaret Keene. Big eyes, little ones figuring Grossman or Grossman designs. Look how cute that is. Oh, my goodness. Paid $3 at an estate sale, sold for $55.99, 20% off sale. They were all in for $91.49. This shipped to Italy and was purchased by a design director for MIU, MIU and Prada. Am I saying that right? Is it MIU or I don't know. Uh, Ubi Kuti. <laughs> it's a Wi-Fi system. We'll just leave it at that. We're not going to say that word again because that just geeked me out. I bought these at the Goodwill bins. They charge 69 cents a pound for anything electronic or battery operated at our bins. And I have about $3 into them. I sold them for $319. All in, they paid $375 after shipping, sales tax, transaction fees, etc. My earnings on this were $282.99. So huge shout out to Noelle for sending me all of this information for the video. You guys, please go subscribe to her YouTube channel and check out her eBay store, which again is linked down below. These are vintage 1970s Levi's white tab, off-white denim. They're flare bottom jeans. Disco, um, she says, I took a best offer of 150 for these, which is an amazing price. They were all in for 172.63. Buyer had requested additional measurements and was super happy with the pants. Left great feedback. Oh, and I paid five at an estate sale last summer. So these are, you can see she did all of the buttons or uh, front and back, the zipper. So this helps people verify age. If you can't date them yourself, you can put that in your photos and somebody who knows is going to know what they're looking for. So all that information is in the photos. Vintage Goody Brush Rollers, 36-piece set with picks, assorted sizes, mesh, new old stock, unopened. Uh, let's see. $31.99 is what they sold for. Not a big money bolo, but people are looking for these, and the buyer left great feedback. Found at the bins, so maybe $1.50 in them. This is a Garcia Mitchell spinning reel left-handed model and it's got the code and it comes with the box and the papers she got this at an estate sale for five dollars and it sold for 103.99 20 percent off sale buyer paid shipping she said this fit nicely in a six by four by four box and then inside of a usps padded flat rate mailer if over a pound great way to help with shipping cost the next item she sold is this uh, road and track calendar. And I'm going to let you let her tell you about this in a video that she did for my This Is My Bolo series. Hi, guys. Farm Girl Scavenger here. And this is my bolo. Road and track magazine calendars. I went to the last hour of an estate sale. There were 21 of them sitting on a table. It was $20 full of bag. I said, can I have all of these calendars for $20? They were like, yes. So I have 91 cents basically into each calendar. I listed them the next day, all of them. I sold one overnight with a message from the buyer asking if I had these dates. I don't know why they weren't showing up. I ended up selling him two more, so I sold three within 24 hours for $90 and, and four cents shipped each. And then this morning I woke up to a message from him and he asked if I would take an offer of $200 for eight more of them. Okay. He said, I noticed that they hadn't mo been moving. Well, they have been listed less than a month. So, but the thing is, is that ephemera does not move. You have to wait for the right person. Um, so I wrote him up a listing just for him. I told him what the shipping would be for all of them, got them packed up, made him a listing. He agreed to the price for shipping and handling of $50. Um, I made him a listing, 250 free shipping because I was shipping them through pirate ship and I didn't want any hinky stuff going on. 
and I sent him the listing and an hour later, cha-ching, he paid for it. So there it is, right there. There's your bolo. Thank you so much. And Courtney, thanks for watching. Bye. This is Kistix Strawberry Daiquiri Pina Colada SPF 15 Lip Balm. Two count, discontinued. Sell the weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Free to me, took a best offer of 50. All in, 58.63. It was drop shipped. Buyer's note, please do not include the price in the packing slip, if any. Yeah, anytime you get that note, they're either sending it to someone as a gift, which is probably not happening. They're probably drop shipping it, which I always say, I don't care. If I get my price, they can drop ship it anywhere they want. That's my opinion. However, eBay does have rules against drop shipping, so be careful, and I wouldn't recommend that. I don't know exactly what the rules are, but I have heard that they don't like it very much. But yeah, people drop ship from me also. And I, I, I don't care who buys my item, you know, as long as I make what I want to make on it, I'm good. Commonwealth plush 1990 Berkshire family teddy bear lot Christmas red brown vintage. It's a set of four bears here. She sold these for $69 on a 30% off sale. All in $114.99 and shipped to Japan via pirate ship. Got great feedback, paid $5 for the whole set at an estate sale and took about six months to sell. So plush, yes, it does sell. Look at this one. Lot of vintage tatting pattern books and Women's Day magazine from the 1940s and the 1950s. She said, sold for $28.49, all in for $36.55. I paid about five cents for the whole lot. Great feedback left. And... It says mailed quickly. Very interesting. Thank you very much. A treats, wait, a treatise of wooden trestle bridges, fourth edition, 1913 by Wolcott Foster. Sorry if I messed that one up. It says best offer of $80.99, all in for $92.43. Paid about five cents for this at an estate sale. Listed May 7th and sold May 13th. Buyer sent a note, said he was really looking forward to getting this book and left amazing feedback. These little mice, how cute are these? Uh, vintage MCM 1960s California Pottery Ceramic Mice Salt and Pepper Shakers set. And let's see. Huh. Oh, here it is. It says, sold for 32, best, uh, best offer, all in, paid pennies in a bulk purchase at an estate sale and have several other pieces to this set listed as well. Yeah, so darn cute, she says. Yes, they are very cute. This one here is a vintage Easter spring egg sugar uh, diorama, I think is how you say it, panoramic flowers rabbit. This thing is adorable. And Noelle talked about this in one of her Bolo, um, she calls it Let's Talk About It videos. But it's basically where she picks a category and does a deep dive research. And she does it live. That's on Thursday night. So you guys can check that out as well. Let's see. Free from an estate clean out. Best offer accepted 25. Buyer paid 25 plus shipping and left positive feedback. The next item is this. Hi everybody, Farm Girl Scavenger here. How you guys doing today? So I'm here to give you a bolo and it's Christmas dishes. Farberware. Let me go over here. I'll put, I'm gonna show you the link to the, the I made a, a eBay listing just for her. And it was called for whatever her e their eBay name was, 39-piece set of Holiday Snowmen by Farberware, $43.80. And I listed everything she was getting in the description. I put the picture, you'll see it right up here. Um, and I told her um, she got it for $344. She's $371.52 all in. I think that's a pretty good deal for $1, don't you? And Chrissy, thank you so much for guilting me in 
to listing these and not redonating them because I, I have about an hour's worth of time into shipping them, about half an hour's worth of time into washing them, maybe um, 20 minutes into listing them for a dollar. So I have my time. Don't discount China sets. Don't discount um, Christmas stuff. And guess what? It's not even July. Christmas sells all year long. All year long. Eggs and just use regular bubble wrap, okay, you guys? So this one is going to go down. Bubble wrap up, right? I'm going to. Beater lack of America, Lighthouse Nautical Seaside. It's a throw blanket queen. Paid a dollar in a bulk buy at an estate sale. Sold for $47, 20% off sale. Buyer was all in for $60.71. And then she's got the photo here that tells the information for the blanket. And the next item, and there's one more after this, Vintage Joseph Originals Japan set of three large paper mache wise men. And those are in fantastic condition they almost look like a photograph i mean i know it's a photograph but you know what i'm saying like it doesn't it looks like somebody painted it they look so good they look so good she said nine dollars at an estate sale sold for 103.99 on a 20 percent off sale 134 all in buyer paid for it then several hours later asked to cancel because they said they found a better price I had marked it as shipped and eBay sent them a message that it couldn't be canceled. It was delivered, so we shall see. Hate it when that happens. 14 karat solid gold bracelet, eight and a half inch, curb link, 5mm vintage Italy, 9.12G unisex grams. Paid $2. Are you kidding me? Two bucks, last day of an estate sale. Sold for a best offer of $5.99, went to eBay for authenticity guarantee and passed it on its way to buyer. Took about a month to sell because I listed it super high. However, I got more than current spot gold price for it. How did everybody at an estate sale miss this? I mean, seriously, it's marked 14 carat Italy. How did she get that for $2? Did she say $2? She said $2. $2 into $599 plus shipping. Wow. All right, you guys. Again, this is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Sell the weird. Go sub her up. Check her out and follow her on eBay down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which one you thought was the most weird. <laughs> All right, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. I'd love for you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know how you found the channel and thanks for watching.